Camille Cern from France taking on Noor El Shabini from Egypt. And then we've got Tariq Momin in an all Egyptian battle with Mohamed El Shabagi. Nice early attack from Serm. She's definitely got the qualities in which to put some real serious damage into the legs of Sherbini, and I think that's exactly what she needs to do. She needs. Clever. Yeah, Measured right. squash for Serm being very precise and she's mm -hmm. not being rushed. Yesterday, eight, three. Those were squash balls for me. <laughs> yeah, perfect lob by Nora Shabini. Six, eight. From term. She's in fine form here. And out nine six. Oh, I can't believe she's missed it. She had complete control of that rally. That just goes to show to make your opponent hit one extra shot and you can win any point. Dogged determination from Camille Serm, and it pays dividends on that last point. That's good, solid, straight line attacking from Serm. Six, three. Absolutely steely eyed glance out the back wall. Of the French. Wow. Good reaction, Dolly, from Cern. She read it. face right there and took that ball in so well. 7-6. I mean, tactically, again, four points in a row here. Camille. Really tough first round, to be fair. And then you have to throw Bedell, then Renine, and then Gohar, and then to come out like this tonight. Phenomenal. Oh, it's the perfect lob. Perfect lob. Six points in a row for Camille Nine six. That's a great shot. Down. Well, another error. Eleven six. Game I mean, she just steamrolled through that second game from lost. six three down. Miss Rubini has uh, a self-inflicted injury on her knee. They are bandaging that up. She's been given three minutes to take care of the injury and return to court. Well, there you go, just confirmation that Nora Shavini is taking her three minutes. Well, there is the PSA physio, Shona just doing what she does best, using a bit of K-tape on the knee, making sure that it holds everything in place. It's incredible K-tape, isn't it? You look at it and you don't think it would have that much of an impact. It really does. Yeah, that in itself is worrying. Oh, she's sprinting yeah. diagonals here. Yeah. 
Well, 3 1 for Sam. She looks an unstoppable force here. 3 1. In New York. He'll be worried that her knee's okay. Yeah. I think she, she has no choice other than she's not playing her A game, right? So Camille Sam is absorbing everything. Oh, my goodness. Now she's coming out with stuff like that. So she has she has to shoot Trebini. She's she's got no Five, option. One. She can't she tried to play her way into the Oh, oh what a shot. She almost needs that reaction stuff where she hasn't got time to think about it. And out. Just get the instinctive yeah. short six. balls going in to convert. Yeah. Well, a two point lead now for Sam. She is Nine, seven. inching away. It's going to be a stroke. She's done it. We're going to get reviewed, but I think she's done it. On the stroke decision. Well, we're getting a player review here. Yeah. <laughs> player review, Sherbini. <laughs> Here we go. The player review for Norel Sherbini. I think this is a bit of a lost cause. Yeah, There's it's no gone. chance. It's gone. <laughs> well, we're going to get a big reaction here when she finds out she has claimed another title here on American soil. And there you go, Camisa. She's done it. JP Morgan, champion. She is Women's champion, the winner Sir. here for the second time. 11-7. Camisa. Three games to zero. She needs to take a bow. It's her eight. fourth 11, major six. title 11, on the PSA seven. World Tour. She has claimed the Tournament of Champions. Unbelievable, really, from Kamisa. So successful. Ashling, it's going to be very hard for any French player. Number two, and she's won her fourth major, her second Tournament of Champions title. 41 minutes, overcoming Shabini. Three games to love. Camille, congratulations. Your second Tournament of Champions title, and you did it in an unbelievably hard way. You had three five-game matches, and tonight to beat Noor El Shabini, three love, I obviously we see the emotion, but try and describe a little bit what's going on in your head. Um, I know I know Noor was not 100%. I, could, I think everyone could see it. She was not moving very well on court, but it's not easy to play someone that you know is not is not you know 100 um, percent so i was just trying to not think about it but it's it's not easy and all credit to her because she tried and she came for you guys as well i'm sure so uh, all credit to her for that um, um. <laughs> Merci pour votre soutien et je vous aime fort. Merci. <laughs> Congratulations, Camille Serm, our 2020 JP Morgan Terminator Champions champion. Tariq Momin is the world champion. He's the number four seed, taking on his compatriot, former world champion, former world number one, the number two seed, Mohamed El Shabagi. PJ. Absolutely. Quite a few of those to Mohamed El Shabagi as well. So. He was the best player in Qatar that week. Thoroughly deserved that victory. Well, that will certainly settle any nerves for El Shibagi. It's always great to get the first cross-court nick four, three. into the system. Former world champ from Australia. The only player in the history of the game to beat both Jahangir Khan and Jansha Khan in the same tournament. And out, seven off. 
Oh. Tight squeeze for a moment. It's a great squeeze. That's what I like. Metallic moment. He loves and taking the ball seven. in short. But if he does it without much risk. He's going to give a stroke. Will be a stroke. Decision on Mortman's appeal. That was a let ball. Is he giving a let ball? No, he's gone to a video decision. I was going to say, this is a stroke all day long. Shabagi charging around, trying to keep himself in the rally, but I think this ball followed him a little bit too much. Yeah, no, it's a stroke. It's going to be a stroke for me. It's very dangerous if he's going to hit that. Yeah, that's got to be a stroke. So Tarek moment gets Stop the stroke. Eleven nine game to Mormon. Mormon leads one game to love. It's good. I agree with you there, PJ. It's good width. No, it's nowhere near. He's not going to ask surely. And out three four. PJ, do you think Tarek Moment's got one of the best floaters in the business? Absolutely. When you see it played like this, Joey, they don't float much better than that. And out, seven all. He's done well to work himself into this. This has been a bit of a grind for Shibagi, but it's been a few outbursts. He's kept his focus on what he needs to do, and now, there's the error. So, Mohamed El Shibagi gets his Shibagi. foot in the door in this final. In this battle of the Egyptians, still haven't had the fireworks that we hopefully will get at some point. I mean, for me, the way that Tariq Moman's playing is creating a lot of edginess about Mohamed El Shibagi. El Shibagi, I'm not seeing as much variation in his hitting. Well, he's won at that one. Yeah, finished off with a fist pump as well. And out, one, two. Yeah, he accelerated onto the ball there well. He just took his space, yeah. He, he hasn't done anything wrong. They didn't actually take that much space, to be quite honest with you, Peach. Yeah. Sometimes the back leg can get left a little bit out and closer to the tee, but Tariq Moment's feet there were pretty close together. There goes the attack into the front. Good movement and well straightened. Great squash. Tarek Moment has just been so accurate down the left-hand side wall. It's not allowed El Shibagi oh. any opportunity to attack. And he said that. He's done it. He waited. It was the right shot for him. He was nicely and balanced. Five all. Savaging that into the cross court, Nick. And it's hard to pick the situation at the moment. It really is as we hit the. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, that oh, is absolutely so brilliant. Both players trading blows and taking charge of this rally. In the end, El Shibagi just finding enough angle on the racket face. Really good patient play here for Tarek Moment. He's onto the ball so early, he's just really rushing Mohamed El Shibagu. Can't seem to defend his way out of trouble. Yeah, he's got what he deserved. He went slightly wayward there, Tarek Moment. Sorry, Mohamed El Shibagu. But the finish for Moment. Continuous play, Mr. Shibagu. Well, he sunk, yeah. Shibagu's feeling it a little bit service wise. We saw it with Gawad from this position, mm -hmm. serving to the. One in the second. Three game balls for Sorry, Shibagi third. for a 2-1 lead here in New York. And there's now, the error. 
11-7. So Mohamed El Shabagi looks like he's one. feeling it physically, but what he has is a 2-1 advantage. Heavy movements from El Shabagi. Tarek Moment has got El oh, Shabagi really moving around. Strong to Shabagi. He is really struggling out there, but the pro look at him. But the problem is, I mean, Tarek Moment, is he aware of it, PJ? Yeah, yeah he's 100% he aware? aware, but the problem is, Tarek Moment's having to work hard himself. An opportunity, possibly, Shabagi. Look at this, he's just pushing up the court. He's got a two point lead, he's going to go for it. That's flat. Flat as a pancake from El Shibagi. Rolling net cross court. 6 3 lead opened up here. Presses El Shibagi into the front of the court continually. <laughs> That's the biggest cry of emotion we've seen from El Shibagi. He knew the significance of that rally. He's feeling it physically, as is Tarek Moment. Here's the hard low kill. Five championship balls for Mohamed El Shabagi to take this Tournament of Champions title. Going to be another stroke. So Mohamed El Shabagi takes it. He wins the Tournament of Champions. He also regains the world number one spot for the fourth time in the February rankings. It was his 29th birthday a few days ago. Not bad for uh, an old goat. <laughs> Tarek Moment obviously pretty upset as he was walking off. It was more of a slap than a handshake, PJ. Tarek Moment absolutely stormed off the court, out the back of the vicinity. He's furious. Well, there's a man. Oh, that's nice to see. Mohamed El Shabagi just appreciating the work that Rodney Martin's put in over the recent months. Yeah, Rodney will have to get a new fresh shirt for later. This men's all Egyptian final, 76 minutes, pretty lengthy. The longest match that Mohamed El Shabagi has played all event, also only dropping one game to take this title here in New York. Three games to one. Mohamed, congratulations. There are a few things that happened tonight. One is that you got your third Tournament of Champions trophy. The second is that you will regain the number one world ranking, which I know is a huge goal. Tell me, which one was more important to you and how happy are you tonight? Both are very important, of course. Uh, you know, to win uh, the trophy for the third time, it's, uh, it's an honor to, be, to have your name beside all the great champions that won this event. It's, uh, it's just uh, moments I live for. And, uh, you know, I said it before this season start, you know, my main goal was to go back to number one and to achieve this on the same court where I lost the world number one last year. It's, uh, it's a great feeling. And, uh, you know, there is no better venue than here. I would have wanted it to happen. And uh, I'm just really, really proud. You know, this, this is a moment for me, for, uh, for my mother and my father. You know, they have sacrificed so much in their life. This is, uh, this is a moment, you know, I, I, always I want to make them proud and a moment like this, I hope I can, a moment like this, I hope I can, uh, I'm making them proud of me.